Now this is a model of the lungs and uh, the heart. So this is, if we did this, this would be a heart pluck, right, with the heart, lungs and heart. We also have the diaphragm muscle here. So this is the diaphragm. Now um, this is the heart and let's take a look at maybe this vascular system first from the heart and then we'll talk about some of the structures of the lungs. I'm going to kind of open this up here a bit. Deoxygenated blood travels from the superior vena cava and inferior vena cava into the right atrium of the heart, travels through the bicuspid, or, or I'm sorry, tricuspid valve into the right ventricle. It is pumped through the pulmonary semilunar valves into the pulmonary trunk where it branches into pulmonary arteries and these arteries ultimately come to the lungs. Now remember, these are arteries even though this is deoxygenated blood. This blood is oxygenized within the lungs and then it returns in these red vessels which are actually the pulmonary veins. The pulmonary veins from both sides of the heart are going to be draining into then the left atrium traveling then through the bicuspid valve or mitral valve into the left ventricle and then pumped out of the left ventricle through the uh, aortic pulmonary, I'm sorry, aortic semilunar valve and then into the aorta where of course it's going to be pumped to the rest of the body. The lungs are actually divided into uh, lobes so the left lung is divided into two lobes and this is separated by a fissure called the oblique fissure. So the oblique fissure basically comes across the lung like this, so it divides an upper anterior region from a lower inferior region of the lung. The right lobes, of, uh, I should say the right lung has uh, three lobes. So there's three lobes to the right lung and there is one, two, three lobes. This is the horizontal fissure and this is the oblique fissure on the right lung. So between these two fissures we actually have three lobes associated with the right lung. The apex of the lung is the top of the lung here. This actually travels above the clavicle, so it's pretty amazing uh, how far that goes. You can also appreciate as we open up this model that there are regions where not only do the blood vessels enter and exit, but we also have the various tubes coming into the lung, the um, bronchial, bronchi going into the lungs. And this is the region called the hilus. So this is the left hilus, and this would be the right hilus. There's also a special region on the left lung called the cardiac notch, where the heart actually rests. This is the cardiac notch here.